Hey again, ZoomyDude77 here with another edition of Mario Kart 64 VA Tournament Archive. Before we begin in the long tracks portion, we gotta do our Stump the Fans trivia question, of course. True or false, it is mathematically possible for PYL, or PYA, as some of the modern era players say now, to actually be clinched a quadruple digit club. If you kind of lost track of what I said, don't worry, I'll post the... I always post the Stump the Fans question in the description. And for those of you who didn't understand it. In the meantime, let's get on with the action. On to Rainbow Road. Oh, let's see how many people attempt the ski jump. It looks like it's only Ju and Piwa. Trent does the semi-ski, I think. I don't know. Oh, Trent was just bunny hopping, I think. Young Gun went for the faster strat. At, let's see, green shell. Let's see, Young Gun will start out with a green shell. Tread picking up a red. Head Jew further behind, getting triple reds. Piwa getting a gold, but he hits a bomb on the way. Hey, note to, note to yourselves. Elves, when watching this, never watch in front of an airport. Anyway, triple reds. Meanwhile, moving on, Triple Reds for Trent, who somehow uh, falls into second place as Ju, who catches up. Meanwhile, Piwa picking up a star, trying to get into the podium. I'm in this race here, clearly. Anyway. Anyway, Triple Greens. Ain't for Trent. And let's see how, let's see how this goes. Oh, for him. Meanwhile, Ju and Piwa. Alright, Ju is going for, uh... Or... Yeah, he got some trouble mush to get it out of the way. But Trent mushing on to second place. Well, he's staying in second place, technically. But hey, same thing. Meanwhile, Piwa picking up triple reds. As is, uh... Ju gets a single red. Oh, but the bolt... Oh, but Ju uses a bolt in time. Guess what time is it now? That's right. Fun facts! Alright, fun fact about the Young Gun. There's actually a uh, community. Kind of like LGBTQ. But, it's actually called the LTYGQ. Ooh, uh, community, if I'm correct. It's basically for diehard Lewis the Young Gun on Richard's uh, fans, if I'm correct. Anyway, Trent... Anyway, Trent, and, I mean, all I can say, A, one of the current members of the uh, Quadruple Digit Club. I hate to say it, but that's literally all the fun facts I got about Trent, unfortunately. On to Jubilee That's right, he was he was the first Mario Kart 64 VA tournament, art, tournament player to actually be born as a, in a Pokeball, believe it or not. Yeah, the first human ever to be born via Pokeball, actually, yes. Sounds very hard to believe, but yes, it is actually true. Ew. We we did go through his birth certificate, and yeah. And yeah, it said birthplace, po a Pokeball. Oh, literally. On to PYL. He was so good of a VA tournament player, they actually had a holiday named after him in France, believe it or not. It is Piers Eve. It was Piers Eve, if I'm correct. Based off his birth date, if I'm correct. Yep, Piers Eve, and then Piers Day, and then Piers Post, I think. Ink, yeah. That's literally how the holiday sequence goes. It was up for him, yeah. Thank God we finished just in time. As we head to the final lap with Jew leading it, it somehow. Ow. Piers Eve or Piers Day. Hey, ski jumping, trying to catch up to Jew to Jubilee over here. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, we got Meanwhile, Trent ski jumping down. Lewis taking the fast strats. That's the LTYGQ. Ooh, community. Pretty impressed with that. Meanwhile, Ju Oh, Jubilee Puff getting hit by a blue shell. I think that was fired by Trent, if I'm correct. Ect. Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, the LTYGQ community has a lightning bolt 
ult right now, and he, they will use it. It as... Oh, Young Gun un falls off. He got hit by Shell, and oh no, that is unfortunate. Oh dear. Anyway, Piwa still leading, but Trent now uses a bolt. So let's see how much advantage he can take. He got past Ants Jubilee It still has to catch up to Piwa. Up here's Eve. Eve is about to become Piers Day if uh, if PYL can keep this up up against Trent. Meanwhile, Jew, I think, using a bolt, but he hits a chain chomp. <clears throat> um, I mean, literally got to be more mindful about the three chomps on the on the actual track here. Here, need I mention? Anyway, uh. Anyway, Young Gun using a lightning bolt. I think it's the Wumbo Combo. No, and it falls short by another Chain Chomp. Meanwhile, PYL is past the last Chomp, FYI. Trent now past the final Chomp as PYL closes in. Oh, Jews also past the final Chomp. Actually, everyone's got... Past the final jump. Okay. Yeah, Piwa. Oz in. Oh, but Ju stealing second. And Trent Shell was a tiny, tiny bit too late as he will have to settle for third. Oh, dear. On to Wario Stadium. Or should the French say, Le Wario de Stadium. Yum. I mean, I have. I mean, I wish PYL could comment the French translation of this course, really. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the LTYGQ community is starting out in front with a single banana. Oh, but Ju got, can pull a one-two punch here. here. So he needs to be more mindful of that now. So the, TY, so the LTYGQ... Oh, dear! There's one punch! Oh! Shell dodge! Odds for Trent! The Piwa is about, is about ready to fire. Mm -hmm. As he will bat. Oh, as Ju goes back down the fourth. Oh, but, but PYL taking a wider line. I need, that, that's okay. Another shell will save him here. Yeah, but Trent better watch out because the third shell of, of Piers Day, A, is coming in. As, he, as the LTYGQ community about to go for the Grande ramp. Or should I say the mega size ramp? Amp of death. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'll a single shroom for. Oh, but Jew pulling a lightning bolt. Hold at the same time. I'm as we head into lap number two. Who Piers Eve Lemire getting a boo? No, I'm sorry, Piers Day Lemire actually now has a boo. Looking for some um very, very good item. Oh, but no, he won't get it, unfortunately. As he settles with a single shroom as he picked up. Uh, okay. Hey, a little bit of a tactical decision there. Did not waste any time on trying to get another item here, but... I guess it helps. Sometimes. Meanwhile, Green Shell. Meanwhile, Triple Green's getting used on Jew's end. But Trent and lurking behind with Triple Reds. As, T as the young as the LTYGQ community over to uneven hurdles on the Gallop Lane. Pain. Oh, but he gets hit by a blue. It, odds are it was probably by I uh, De Lemire, if I'm correct. Anyway, speaking of Lemire, he gets a star. R now. Another blue coming in. Oh, the LTYGQ community, very angry with. With Piers Day, a unfortunately, as as the LTYGQ community, he now goes in the final lap. Oh, and they hovered over to Blue. Yikers! I guess Blue shells are much smarter, harder than the average Carter. Or it turns out. Meanwhile, we have. All right. Meanwhile, next up we got. Out of red shell going in on the LTYGQ community. As Ju ooh, continuing in second place. It's Trent picking up a star. 
How much ground can he make up here? Here, on the very wide spaced uh, pyramids. Ids, I think. Oh, he gets another blue shell out, though. Oh, the uneven hurdles are done for the back of the pack. Oh, the LDYGQ community. He better better move quickly, because uh, that shell is a coming. And, but he's already over the ramp. Amp Juke right behind. Behind as, as PYL and Trent and are closing in pretty quickly. Meanwhile, Young Gun rounding up the final bend. As Trent will use a, a lightning bolt. Oh, it's Young Gun and Ju at a very close finish. As Trent will take third. How much better of a finish can you get? All right. All right. Final scores after day three. He's sorry for that late intrusion. We have Trent in the lead with 19. Young Gun, one track radius back at 16. Here's Eve Lemire at 11. And Jew with eight with uh, eight points. Points. Tomorrow, the final... The final three tracks in the third quarter will be commenced. And see you guys then.